Alright, hello everyone. My name is Half-Life 2017 and welcome back to Adrift. Um, sorry about last episode. Um, the game crashed and um, <laughs> I was so freaked out that uh, that the uh, that I lost the file and I was gonna have to redo everything or just give up on life and shoot myself. But either way, I'm back. I'm ready for action and uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm actually gonna check something really quick. Okay, we're all good. All good. All right, let's get out of here. We were just up here. Um, the do ow! The I I'm stuck on something apparently. I'm stuck on that. All right, running low on oxygen. Now uh, our, our reserves are depleting again. Cause the vacuum of space. Grab that oxygen. Grab it and suck on it. Good. <laughs> Tight, <laughs> a tiny taste of zing. A gin, gin, gin. Damn it, gin. You know, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm gonna go whack this solar panel because I can. You think you're tough, Brown? Oh, I was not expecting it to break in half. All right, so right over there is where we crashed. So let's hope the same thing doesn't happen again. Let's go wonder. Ugh. Ow. Alright. Okay. Northside 4, this is Mission and Control. We're good. Unable to determine current location or crew status. Please advise. Over. I also turned down the music volume a little bit because I realized it was still pretty loud. I should have. Hang on. I'm good. Alright, I had to sneeze. Um. But I held it in, which is not what I was going for. Ow. It's nothing. Let's circle myself back around. Be careful. So, uh, what was I saying? Uh, what was I saying? This is not important. <laughs> it's not important what I was saying. It might have been life saving. He could have finished the game if he just remembered what he was trying to say. Yep, not important. Come on. So I guess this is gonna be the majority of the game, is just me drifting along. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say now. Uh, I said I, I said I lowered the, the, the music volume, and I was gonna say I need to anyway because if I don't, I'm gonna get freaking copyright strikes. I was gonna say you can't use that music because we're YouTube and we don't like it when people use stuff. I love how I can just smack huge things and just make them go flying. It's hilarious. So apparently Mission Control, which is, in case you don't know what NASA is, is down there. They're apparently talking to me, and they know I'm alive, I guess. How may I assist you? Assist you. 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 Thank you. I mean, what? Well, assist you. Assist you. Assist you. All right, buddy. That's enough. Come on. You can shut up now. Thank you. Boop. All right. Move on up. Oh, oh these are the plants. Oh, there's water droplets. Oh, can, do they smash against my EVA? Oh, please do. Please come on. I, I don't know if I hit it or not. Get the other one. Come on. I want to see if they actually like splash. Oh, that's a disappointment. That would have been so cool. I probably would have just spent hours just watching water splash against the hood of my suit. Yeah, I'm not really sure if they in intended this, but um, there's a little bit of space logic right here to where um, if you introduce like anything that's alive and requires oxygen or. Or, 
or carbon dioxide. Pretty much when you introduce anything to the vacuum of space, it immediately gets frozen and can't work anymore. So why are these plants so green? Like, I understand they said they found a way to make plants work in space so they can colonize the moon, but I I'm not sure. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I need to focus more on the story. Maybe what I'm saying is not true at all. And I, I'm just trying to sound smart, but instead it sounds like I'm, I got an email from some random prankster, and he's like, Hey, did you know this about space? Why don't you tell it on your, your, your video? And also, stop trying to be funny. It, it doesn't work. It's the reason you have so little subscribers. You should punch that box. I will, mystery man. Or I'll reach for an oxygen canister. I'll smack this plant. Take that, nature! You don't just belong up here. I do copy. It's just that my character doesn't really seem to talk for some reason. She's very well under pressure. I mean, you think she would freak out more about this, but well, she's good. Just sucking up oxygen. Like it's, like it's nothing. Whoa. It's an orchid tree? Peach? Blossom? Kung Fu Panda? No? Okay. Take this, plants. Ah! Whack! I can't do anything. I just phase through the branches. <laughs> Screw physics. What are these? Like, what is the point in these little b barrel thingies? I already lost. I don't care anymore. Just keep going. Make the audience scream at you. Take him, go that way. Go this way. Stop talking. I do copy. In school, not really. Four <laughs> audio terminal version Paper. four point three located. Multiple audio terminals detected and online. <laughs> Location coordinates unknown. Okay. So in case you guys don't know what we're doing, we're trying to find the mainframe for that s spiritus Incoming thing? communication. Hardiman Aerospace confirmation of transfer. 16, April, 2037. Transfer status approved. Approver, Commander, Oshima, Alex. Recipient, Systems Specialist, McDonough, Andrew. Mission, North Star 4. Departure date, 8, July, 2037. Method, resupply shuttle. Destination, Hardiman Aerospace Launch Facility, Santa Monica, California. Replacement, Collins, Misha, Indigo Kai. Is that it? Maybe me sit here and waste my time? Well, thanks. I guess I'll be on my merry way. Also, suck some oxygen out of this, this tube. Seriously, I don't understand where the challenge is. There's oxygen canisters everywhere. And, like, I can only assume that the toughest part is supposed to be now, because all I have is my scanning thing. Eventually, I'm going to be getting upgrades to my suit, I think. Maybe. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a moron with glasses flying in a spacesuit. <laughs> what would I know? Personal log, Systems Specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 2, July, 2037. All in six days. Feels like 600. I'm gonna do it different this time. No, Beethoven! Beethoven, no! Copyright strikes are coming for me. YouTube, please have mercy. I don't think YouTube would care. <laughs> like, they care about the content I make. Yeah, we got this guy who uploads, like, every once a year and never finishes anything. He had Beethoven music. We need to shut him down. He's a risk. He's a risk to our profits, man. He's not paying for it. White box. I need that file. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh my god. 
god. There's a dead body over there. Hey, buddy. Are you alive? Are you knocked out? Or are you just dead? Oh, look, he wants a hug. I'll give you a hug, buddy. Open your arms. No, don't turn away. Accept my love. I don't. I know I haven't taken a, a shower. And oh, that's Big Donna. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. Well, he wanted to get back to his daughter that he never took care of, and here he is, floating in space, dead. Yeah, that's kind of sad. And maybe it probably wouldn't be as sad if I just saw his lifeless corpse hanging against the corner of a wall, but it's something about him just floating like weightlessly in the space. There's only one thing we can do. Get out of here! Your body's making everything depressing. We 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 gave uh, we gave uh, McDonough's McDonough's body uh, a good memorial. We're gonna send him out into the universe of space. He's gonna his body will travel the cosmos and he will travel to the end of the world. Get out there! Come on, go see your family. No, you're going the wrong way. Earth that way. McDonough, no. You know what? Fine. You said you wanted to go back to Earth. Oxygen here. I wonder if I'm gonna find any more dead bodies. Maybe I should have brought McDonough with me. I could have just carried him throughout my days. McDonough, hang on, I got a plan. I'm taking him with me. <laughs> He's gonna be my only company throughout this entire game. Come on, McDonough, let's go explore the rest of the base. No, 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 you're going the wrong way. McDonough, no! No, don't go to the wall! The wall, the wall won't give you friendship. The wall doesn't love you. I love you. That's, that's not... That, uh, no! No, McDonough, no! No! <laughs> I was gonna take you on journeys with me! Yeah, it's clear he doesn't want to go with me. Oh, well. That would have been amazing if I just dragged his body <laughs> everywhere I went. <laughs> just you wait and see, guys. He'll be back. Or, a or we'll find another member of the crew, and we can take him along. Maybe we can gather everyone up. And then I can... Do horrible things to their dead bodies. Not necrophilia, you crazy people. Just, like, poke them. Like, move their lips up and down with my finger. And make funny noises. I love dead people. <laughs> I mean, I love people. Hardiman Aerospace North Star 4. Crew status Boop. Medical Officer Edwards Liam. Deceased. Scientist Hudson. Elizabeth, deceased. Astronaut Lopez, Teresa, deceased. System specialist Madonna Andrew, deceased. Astronaut Olivier Sebastian, deceased. Commander Oshima Alex, active. So everyone's dead. Good for me. That means I have four other people to look for and drag along with me on my journey. Looking forward to that. Man, how far away is this mainframe? Why would they keep something so far away? Like, I don't understand it. Is this it? This has got to be it. There's no other branching pass. <laughs> yep, that's it. I had to burp. I still have to sneeze, like, really badly. But my body won't let me. See, that's where I was over there. Right there. Why would they keep the mainframe so far away? I would like I realistically I'd have to travel all the way around the station Star 4. in order to just Core get get over here and then Offline. grab the mainframe. mainframe. Do I grab the mainframe Solaris or do I just use a computer? Offline. Well, did I get it, piece of debris? Ha <laughs> ha! Manual Tell the people on Earth I said hi. That'd be my message to him. It's just a piece of styrofoam. Tell my family I love them. <laughs> I 
right, there we go. Time to break this solar panel into pieces. Yeah! Ow. I should probably stop bashing into things. Like, my helmet is cracking. I don't know if my helmet can actually break, but, you know, I don't want to try it out. What's happening? What's going on? Oh, it's just music. Okay. This music is freaking creepy. Excuse me, water droplet. Listen carefully, you can almost kind of hear what beat they're, they were going with before they started adding, like, the, the special effects, sound effects to it. Got a nice little cutscene here. It only took me, like, what, 40 minutes to get here? Activating the spirited system terminal. Mainframe online. Initializing hand for EBA diagnostic sequence. My oxygen is half. My propulsion is half. My mobility is EBA super low. Oxygen repair my detected. Is super low. Initialize EBA oxygen repair. Oh sweet, I'm upgrading my oxygen. Like, wait, EBA that just makes it less challenging. Now I can basically just ignore every single EBA diagnostic <laughs> of two canister and just fly along. Initializing Cerebrum Core Diagnostic Sequence. Cerebrum Core Corrupt. Cerebrum Core Fabrication Alright, so we need to uncorrupt the core. core. Fabrication. Initiate Fabrication. Cerebrum Core Fabrication Complete. Cerebrum Module Repair Required. We repaired the mainframe. What am I doing? Oh, is that the module? Yep. Alright. Are you pointing back to I need to go over there now? Do I have to take the exact same path I took last time? Maybe I could meet McDonough again. We could take him along. He's probably still there. Maybe. <laughs> What's this? Hand for EVA oxygen station located. Oh, an oxygen station. That's cool. I don't need any oxygen. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. But you know, might as well. Might as well kill myself with an overdose of oxygen. Yes, that is a thing. You can die from an overdose of oxygen. You have too much. Alright, well, I think I'm going to stop it here. Because we're going to have a long travel back. I think I'm just going to skip the majority of that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. The game didn't crash this time. So, yay, happy face. Let's actually go back inside. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I hope, uh, stick with it to the end. Mission control to North Star 4. Survivor detected. Verifying identification. Stand by. And, uh, hopefully I will be able to finish it, because you know me. I don't finish anything in my entire life. Alright, well thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in episode 3, or part 4. I'm not sure how many times we're going to split this up, but uh, smash into the wall for landing. Bye-bye.